Yes, we have. Um, we used the Fender Bandmaster, and uh, we used, uh, it's a 1957 Fender Bandmaster, and I think that, sound, that amp sounds awesome. It's a little loud, that's the only thing. To get a really, to get that amp working at a really cool, um, to get the optimum sound from it, it has to be really loud, and then every, it kind of blows up the whole room, and the camera, and the mics, and everything like that. Um, we also used a Fender Super Champ, which I found the gain in that amp. I was actually it was mind-boggling. I thought, man, this this is, sounds amazing. You don't even need a pedal for it. But uh, we we chose to use a, a lower gain amp so we could have the option of having the lower gain rock sound or a higher gain rock sound with a pedal. And we also use uh, a Marshall Studio 15. It's 15 watts. It's got a little 12 in it. It's kind of like if you took a GCM 800 and put it in a little 15 watt little box. That amp sounds really great too. Again, has to be cranked up really loud to get a really true, cool sound out of it. We also use a 1963 Fender Vibroverb amplifier, which uh, again is a loud amplifier. And uh, I think Stevie Ray Vaughan used to use that, right? And uh, it's a great sounding amp. I think we might use it next time. I like that amp. Dude, come on, I can't have one favorite. Okay. Um, I have to say, okay, I love P90s, right? So when I, there was a 55 Les Paul, I think it was this one. And, um, is it a 55? It is a 55, P90s. It's got the wraparound bridge and uh, unbelievable. One of my favorites. Um, Rosalie, the 59 Les Paul Ice T Burst, that was another one of my favorites. And uh, there's a couple of surprises. They were both hollow bodies. The Dwayne Eddy Guild, um, that was monstrous. Unbelievable sound coming out of that guitar, as well as the Epiphone Zephyr. <laughs> Remember that? That guitar also blew me away. I was like, and um, that was before we were using mics. So you probably didn't hear the true sound of that guitar, which was like mind-boggling. Like just standing in front of the amp, it was amazing. So I, it's hard to pick a number one, but those four, and I don't want to leave the Fenders out, because the 54 Strat, that's like unbelievable. I used to play Strats all the time, Strats and Tellies actually. And I did this switch over, I don't know why exactly, but that 54 Strat and uh, the Esquire, the 57 Esquire. See, how can I do this, dude? <laughs> okay, the five. The five would be, okay, the five guitars that I would own that I've played out of the 127 would be the 59 Les Paul, uh, Rosalie, um, the 55 P90 Wraparound Bridge, those are two, the 54 Strat, the 50, I don't, I got I don't know if it was the 56 Esquire or the 57 Esquire, but that guitar is insane. And the Dwayne Eddy. Those would be my five favorites, the Dwayne Eddy. Um, if I could walk out of here with those five guitars and not have to bring them back, that would be a good day. Wow, okay. Um, I have to say that a lot of the response has been awesome. I'd like to thank everybody who has posted numerous um, comments about what we do and what I do and my playing and the sounds of the guitars and stuff like that. I, I really appreciate it. Every time uh, Dustin at Fred and Americana sends me all the posts that I've you know, posted that day, and I, I just read them and a, a big smile on my face. It totally makes my day. It's really amazing. Um, you know, there's a couple like, why is that dude wearing fingernail polish? Pfft. Dude, go back to Mayberry. Um, uh, what else? Uh, 
I think that's, uh, keep them coming. We'll keep the videos coming. You keep those comments coming and we'll just keep it, it it'll cycle. It'll be awesome. It'll go on for years, hopefully. <laughs> thank you, Phil. Thank, thank you, you, and thank you. I don't think they play it like that. I'm sorry. That's the only thing I know. Yeah!